Hello, welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, well, all our uh, corn's grown, uh, it's all ready to be harvested, and as you might notice, I've got nearly 800,000 pounds. I can't believe it. Basically, uh, just while I was waiting for everything to grow, I just kept checking the old message board here, and I got a. Um, oh, here comes another one, just pop up. Well, I had a canola, uh, 46 tons of canola. I got a uh, quarter of a million and I got a I think it was barley 41 ton uh, mission and that sold for a quarter of a million as well so yeah pretty much we made an absolute fortune from doing two missions so what I've decided I'm going to do I'm going to sell the little uh, cedar and the cultivator because these are really slowing us up uh, I'm not even going to bother with this uh, corn header on this combine I'm just going to sell it so let's just sell this all. Let's pull this up. But I'm not going to go crazy and just buy the most expensive combine, even though we can afford it. I, I want to kind of work my way up. So I'm going to buy the New Holland, which is cool. I'm going to buy the two headers as well. This one, which is a bit bigger than the other one. And also the corn header, which is what we will need the most. So even if we just do a couple of harvests with this similar upgrade, but I do, I do want to try it. I mean, this takes me back to the combines that I grew up with, with the old auger on the side there that comes up at a funny angle. You know, when you start it up, there's no uh, Euro five on that engine. That's a uh, you know, good old sort of 90s combine the way that folds out that's just how I remember it as a kid <laughs> they look silly now don't they coming up like that but that's how they always used to be okay what else are we going to buy I'm going to buy this 220 horsepower tractor the reason being um, I want to get the Six meter, which is 220 horsepower, uh, set of discs. So we're going to buy them, and also this only needs 108 horsepower. So that tractor should be able to pull everything. We might probably get to it at some stage because we've still got quite a lot of money. Um, don't think there's anything else we desperately need. Brilliant. No, yeah, they look good actually. Nice set of discs there. Right, so as soon as we sent so much money, I'm not going to drive it back. I'm going to request everything gets sent back to the farm. Because if you spent that sort of money, there's no reason why you couldn't have it all delivered. Oh, if I can get it to do it properly. Just reset everything. Reset everything back to the farm. And that is, uh, we set that, and there should be the other header as well. Not that we're going to need that straight away. All oh, right, yep. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to get another trailer. Uh, something I've got in mind. Right, actually, before we do anything, I almost forgot. I need to uh, go and plant the next lot of saplings. So I'm just going to pause the video, and then once I get down there, um, I'll be back, and then we get them saplings planted. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So I just have to go and get another pallet full of uh, saplings. Doesn't seem to be any change. So the ones that I left are now two full days old. So hopefully tomorrow, I am told that they take three days to grow and then five days to mature. So hopefully when we come back tomorrow we should see some improvement. Everybody, by the time we get to the end of the field, <laughs> it's quite a few days. 
probably be like a thousand episodes later. And there we go. Oh, we've got any weight on the front, so it's a bit, bit light on the front. I've also got the latest version of Cosplay, um, it's version 4.0044. Uh, so I'll link the uh, website in the description. Basically, when Farming Simulator 15 came out, they initially released a version, but they weren't happy with it, so they. Any future versions for a little while, they basically made it developers only, just so they could work out all the bugs. So the one I have been using is the very first edition they released and they sort of banned use of it, well, any new ones, but now they've just opened it up for people to use again. It's still not perfect and there's still some issues, but it is a lot better and they are working really hard, so it will get better as time goes on. Alright, so now we've got all that stuff here, look at all that nice and clean. Let's just drop this front load off somewhere. Give you a tip when you drop the front loader off, make sure it's not up in the air. Okay, let's just get the front. I think I might need another couple of trailers. Now, we're going to go and get some silage with the Possinger Mex 5. The problem with it is it hasn't got any autopilot, it hasn't got any hard help, so you have to drive it manually. So I'm going to try and use Calls Play to automate it for me. Um, it, 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 I can, I've tested it uh, and it kind of works, oh. but not in the way you'd think it would work. Um, if you use the, uh, the Big X, it works perfectly, yeah, how it should do. but. Something like this and the little potato harvesters and whatnot uh, aren't really things people use, so I can understand the developers don't really give it a lot of time, which is fine. Uh, but I have worked out a way to get this working. So I don't have to, well, I do have to babysit it, but it's not too bad. I haven't got to drive it. But I'm going to need another trailer, probably maybe another two actually. So let's just buy them and get them bought over. So I'm going to stick with these ones because I know they fit under the combine. I don't want to get these ones just yet. So let's buy another two. And get these shipped over to the farm. Tools and trailers. Right, now I was going to do that field there, but actually let's, uh, yeah, let's just try it actually. Because I've ploughed it into one, and we're going to get quite a lot of silage over there, but that's fine. I might be able to see if this will recognise it as one big field as opposed to two separate ones. So, so if we call this field 30, yeah that does, ok we can actually save that then. And uh, working with 2 metres here, and we're going to start uh, north west. Heading east, I'm not going to worry about headlands or anything at the moment. Oh, oh well, doesn't matter. We can start up this end. Because it's north east. Oh, I know. That might be 
because I haven't got waypoints. I was right. <laughs> I turned the uh, show waypoints off. Okay. So when you try and use this traditionally without the trailer, it kind of gets itself jammed up, and I have had it crash a couple of times. But through sort of trial and error, I found this to work. So if we get everything turned on and not, and then hit first waypoint and hit drive. It, it kind of works, so I can leave this now, and that'll just crack on. You can see it blowing in there. Um, yeah, if you don't, if the trailer's not on there, it, it kind of gets a bit confused. and doesn't really know what to do, and, and the um, tractor and trailer on course play can't find it. So this works, uh, but what it means is when the trailer's full, it will stop. So all you have to do is bring over an empty trailer, swap trailers over, and then let it carry on. So hopefully it will turn. It, it does miss a little bit at the ends, but I can suffer that because I haven't got to drive it, <laughs> which is all the better for me. Right, let's have a look inside here. Sweet, look nice and sharp. Yeah, this is the sort. Of, oh, look, yeah, th these are the sort of combines I remember. As a young lad, give me a lot of room. Right. <coughs> I I will go over. I might even do some calls based tutorials actually. Um, but I just want to give the guys a chance to iron out as many bugs as I can. My trouble is I like to use the equipment no one else uses, so that's why it doesn't always work. Not to worry. So when you hear this fire up, this is what a combine should sound like, you know, big engine. Yeah, I've, I've found this kind of gets a bit stuck sometimes, but that's fine. Because trailer's uh, quarter full already. Because we're probably not going to stick with this for too long. It's not going to take long, <laughs> like I say, it, it, it's not without its problems. Oh. Do you know why that's doing that? Because I had it on first waypoint. So that was just driving down to the first waypoint, that's my fault. Yeah, we're going to think, we're going to get the big, the big X soon. But I, I just wanted to try this anyway. It's actually just so if anyone wonders what cause play is, basically it's this, it's a, a waypoint system. Oh uh, so it does that sometimes. It doesn't lower the front. And it's a little bit hit and miss at the moment. There we go. front weight for this shouldn't we? Should we get a ton? Get that delivered. That's the first Lamborghini I've ever driven. Okay. 
So it's a good thing about having a better combine. You can hold quite a lot more uh, in its silo. Quite literally, corn cart this time. So this is the end one. Okay. Alright, do you know what? I might get the bigger tractor on here. I think we might have a bit more luck. I don't think this was quite heavy enough to put itself. So if we Drop that there. Drop that there. Let's get the Yale Lambo. Not that we need to front weight now. Put that there. So yeah, this episode might be a little bit of a mess, just while we uh, try and figure out this cause play. I'm making it hard for myself really by using stuff, like, like I said earlier, that people don't really use. Uh, I did try it with the big X and it works perfectly. Alright. If it would work, let's just set up the course very quickly. Two meters. And it should pick up. So we might have a bit more luck now, it's got a bit more grunt. For some reason the old um, speeds keep resetting themselves. I'm not really sure why it keeps doing that. Again, like I say, it's still, still early days. So let's go and get the other trailer. I thought that looked like it's burnt then, it's the buttons for the uh, rear linkage. So what we can also do, we can set up a route. That can take us down to the biogas plant. So all we have to do... Yeah, it's just trying to change the tracks and trailer. There we go. No, it doesn't like it. It really doesn't like hills for some reason. It seems to get really stuck. Might get better as we get going, but I 
Oh, I might just lose my patience going by the big X. How much is the big X anyway? How much just in case uh, uh mind you we wouldn't need to sell much uh, in one of these missions to get that money. Nothing at the moment. So it's going to take quite a long while to get across there. This old combine is moting across though. So that's good. Let's see if we can get this unloaded quickly. Perfect. Still slipping. Yeah, it really struggles. Oh, I don't know. It's all these slopes. Yeah, I don't know if this is really going to work out how I hoped it would. I mean, I could drive it manually, but where's the fun in that? I probably will persevere and try and get this field done. And I could try, I suppose I could try going that way across the field. It means slightly more turns, but it might be a bit flatter. Oh. Okay, yeah, so that trailer's full. So it's never going to pull itself up here. do once I get up this end I might just redo it just so we go up and down the field the other way see if that makes any difference okay
Right, once we get to the end, let's get this ready actually. Field 30. Um, North East turning south. Just give one, one last chance to turn. Turn it now. Would you believe it? <laughs> you believe it? It's working. I right, say so it's not the best in the turns. But that probably worked that time. But you know, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Just see, if, just see if we get any better luck. Okay, so what I need to do now is run a course from here down to the biogas plant. Just down the bottom there, so it was the Best way down there. Ah, okay. Let's head down here. Yeah, I'm not going to get too carried away just yet with these routes. Um, I will eventually uh, do a route per silo and whatnot. But I know I'm not going to fill a silo up with that field, so I'm not too worried just yet. Down here, I think it's probably the quickest way. Might as well use all these farm tracks. This is a beautiful map. I do really like this map. I'm not sure about all the hills, but other than that... Come on. Right. Let's go in the first one. Start tipping. Oh, would you believe it? I'm sure that come up on the uh, thing is unload. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to pause the video and get this back to the farm. And I'll be right back. All right. Well, I mean, it looks like it's working now, actually. So that's good. Seems to be turning. Obviously, it thinks the edge of the field's here and not there. It lifts and cuts and off it goes. Look at that. Oh, I don't mind that so much. See, that's how it should work. So you just got to find really that works. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Nice little silage. Slightly filling up here, but you can see what I mean about this end. It does miss a little bit. We can always come and get that with the combine or 
just to get in. Really doesn't like slopes, does it? it? Really struggles with them. But it's kind of working anyway, so that's all good. Combine's cracking on. Concart's working well. must almost be a full trailer yeah 100% we'll just watch this drop off and then uh, I think I'll probably call it an episode I'm probably going to come straight back Ooh, power slide there so, you say, no. yeah I'm probably just going to come straight back and carry on um, got quite a lot to do and once that picks up that that should go a bit quicker why are you going so slow? There you go. Cool. Yeah, that's working. Now we can try and satisfy some corn missions. Which is just have a quick look. No, just to cut the front loaders. No, don't do it so quick. Zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. So you try and keep the speed down. But it doesn't help. Uh, it's not really Causeplay's fault. I've got to blame the game engine, really. It's so slippery. Alright. This one is unloading the game. Okay, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, when we come back, we're going to watch this guy go down to the biogas plant and hopefully offload. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Take care.